In today's episode, I'm going to install a new hose bib on my house as cheaply as possible and put it right there. If you've been following for a while, you know that I bought this box of fittings from some lady for 40 bucks. There's 63 items in here, so this male adapter is 68 cents. We're going to call this scrap copper free for the purposes of today's video, but once I drilled this hole, I did go out and buy a new hole saw to complete my hole saw kit with some smaller sizes. That was 15 bucks from the local hardware store. They kind of have the market in a choke hold, so I went with that. We're not going to get all nitpicky. We're going to call this solder and the flux free for today because I'm not a mathematician but I did have to use a coupling so that's another 68 cents out of our bin and it didn't have a stop on it which is unfortunate. When I lined up the pipe I realized that it was right in the middle of this coupling so I'm going to go ahead and unsolder that. Uh, I hope you brought a fire extinguisher into the crawl space that doesn't look very safe. All right now that we've got that pipe all cleaned up we had to reach for another coupling so another 68 cents but it's worth it versus having to pay 15 to 20 bucks for that length of pipe. After I burn it in we get that pipe cleaned up and then we reached for the Vega T, which was free because I got that last year in the Press Masters program. We got the M12 Pro Press to squeeze it. Next up, we've got some Teflon tape and pipe dope from Odie and a doll valve bib, both of which were free because they got sent to me. We turned the water back on and then we got some J hooks for 98 cents a piece just to shut you haters up in the comments. So we got this hose bib installed for a grand total of $19.